And now let's head over to a man that can cut his own hair with his chef knife because it is just so sharp. <laughs> and can't you tell? And no, just joking. Um, okay, California medjool dates, organic even. These, yeah, these are, are awesome. delicious, hey, meaty, flavoursome and brilliant. You can snack on them now um, and you can use them in so many different ways. And well, you're so, yeah, so versatile. Yeah. yeah, well, we're going to eat half the box. Yeah, and cool. Then, <laughs> and then with the other half of the box, we're going to turn it into a jam, a really simple jam, but like full of flavour. You know, got all those natural sugars which go in there so you're not adding any more sugar and it's just going to be great and it's going to work really well with the uh, burger mm -hmm. you know you can use it as um, and with cheese as well you know you can you can put it with whatever you want but we're going to put blue cheese on the burger with the beef and those that jam's going to be beautiful oh, it's going to be so good oh I can't yeah, wait sweetness out okay. <laughs> great to have you with us we are in the Beko kitchen and mark we are cooking with a superfood this morning these delicious organic californian medjool dates which i have <laughs> had <laughs> oh, sure. They are delicious. There's nothing left. You I know. You've eaten them. Well, but they're such a great snack, but so versatile as well, because you can do so much with them. And today we're going to turn them into a jam and make them as part of our burger. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it's going to be a component in the burger. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Okay. So because of the sweetness, it works really well with the uh, cheese. Mm -hmm. You know, and so obviously you've got the blue cheese on the burger, but you can put it on a cheese board. You could, um, you know, yeah. toss them in some salads. You could do anything you want. Scones. Love scones. Oh, scones. <laughs> scones. Actually, there you go. California medjool date scones. Do that as well. well that's the thing. 100% um, fat free, so they're the perfect snack for me. You know, trying to slim down for the telly and all. Because it adds about 30 kgs. Just FYI. Uh, um, okay, so what are you going to do? Better with eat some more. <laughs> California. I will. I'll eat that whole box. California medjool dates. What are you right, doing? Right, so what we've done, so we've pitted them, so there's a stone in there, so just take them out, so it's really easy, and then I'm just going to cut them across, and you can see, you can see how um, soft and, uh, you know, just lush they are. Well, that's you know, the thing with so the, much flavour. Yeah, and but, they're meaty too, aren't they? You get a lot on the dates. So. Yeah, I mean, huge, right. I mean, that's that's all date. So I've got, uh, I've got a pot of water over there, or there's okay. a little bit of water on there, and then all we're going to do is going to put the dates on, and then we're just going to cook it slowly. Okay, cool. And, you know, and it's not going to take long, because they're not that hard, you know, they're still... They're still nice and soft, so they're just going to warm up, cook down, break down, and you'll get this beautiful lush um, jam. Which is great, because usually with jams you're adding sugar, aren't you, about these dates? Yeah, you don't need to add any any uh, extra sugar in there. Especially these organic California medjool dates, that, you know, just nice and sweet and a beautiful, rich, caramelly flavour when you eat them on their own. So you're getting everything that you need. And, of course, a really tasty blager as well, which I'm really excited about. I don't know why I say it like that. But... OK, cool, that's it. You are excited today, aren't no, you? Added sugar. Oh, you got some spices in there, so yep. you get a little bit of um, nice. Chinese allspice in there. Um, and then you just want to bring it up to the boil, turn yes. it down to a simmer, and just let it almost let them rehydrate in the liquid. Mm. Uh, the liquid's going to go down, it's just going to cook down, you can break it down. Okay. And then what we're going to do is going to put a little bit of lime, uh, lemon zest in okay. at the end and a little bit of lemon juice just to balance that sweetness because they are so sweet. Mm, nice, okay, well I'll keep an eye on these. What else do we have to do? All right, cool. So we're going to get some caramelised onions on as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little bit of uh, coconut oil in there and uh, some onions and then we're just going to thinly slice them and we're just going to cook them on a really low heat. That's probably a little bit too hot. Yeah, <laughs> she's cranking. <laughs> on a low heat, yes, yeah, so well good thing we took Yeah, off, so yeah. We'll, we'll take it off and let it cool down, that's and fine. Why are you using coconut oil for this particular recipe? Just keeps it nice and healthy. Oh, there you go. You know? No, it's good. It's, uh, you know, there's no reason why you can't have uh, caramelised onions healthy. You don't need to cook them in duck fat all the time right. or butter. Okay, nice. Okay. You get a lot cleaner flavour. Mm, yeah. Um, and this is the thing with using the dates today, is that uh, it does provide that nice little kick in your burger. Uh, but of course you can make the jam, you could have it on anything really, couldn't you? The jam, and then of course put it in some salads if you wanted. Put you the jam come... on the scones. Oh yeah, the... Oh. <laughs> Double hit. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay, cool. So we yeah, caramelising so, these, is that what yeah, we're doing? Yeah, so what you want to do is, uh, if it's a little bit hot like that, we'll just take it off the heat. And then you just want to keep stirring them down, break them down. Don't, okay. you know, don't walk away from them now. And then we'll just let that heat go down. And just you want to, the slower and longer you can cook it, you know, the more flavour you're going to get out of these uh, onions. You know, you get all the sugars coming out, and then they'll slowly caramelise. So ideally, if you've got the time, you want to cook these for about an hour. So okay. just really slow, stir them every now and again, uh, and then it will, you know, be a beautiful end result. Brilliant with the uh, meat. Brilliant with the dates cheese, everything. It's going to be great. Mm, it will so be great. we've got all our things on, we need I'll to get on. Them. Yep. We'll keep cooking them yep. and then we're going to come back and we're going to make the uh, patty. Absolutely brilliant. The smells are insane right now. Can't wait to show you how to finish it off. We'll do that very soon with these organic Californian medjool takes, which are available at Huckleberry stores in the chill produce section as well as online. Go on.
brilliant snack, so versatile. It is burger time and swipe right for the best date because today we are cooking <laughs> with organic Californian medjool dates. They are delicious. Now, we've got this underway and this is what we've turned our Californian medjool dates into. And because they're organic, even better for you too, aren't they? Nice. So look at that, you can see how it's just sort of warmed up, slowly cooked. It's just, um, you know, just softened up, just broken down. A little bit of a fork in there, you can just to, just to get the texture down if you want. Now you can uh, zest a bit of uh, lemon juice cool. in there. Nice. Uh, lemon zest. Yeah. And then squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there and then give it a taste, make sure you're happy. How much do you want? Is that enough? A bit more? No, oh, a bit more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will taste away and give you my expert opinion. <laughs> okay. Yum. So what's the point of adding the um, citrus in here? Well, you're going to balance it. Okay, you know, nice. Because we're talking about the sweetness of the dates. Mm. So the lemon juice is just going to balance it and just freshen it up as well. Nice. Okay, I'm just going to grab a teaspoon off your chef and then I'm going to try these to make sure they're up to my standard. You got, you got some lemon juice in there? Oh, do you want juice as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, obviously not listening to you this morning, am I? Nah. Nothing new there. <laughs> no, oh, come on. <laughs> All right, so you give that a taste. Okay. So onions are just uh, cooking down, so you can see they're nice and shiny. We'll just keep cooking them like that. Mm -hmm. How's that? Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. You're right. So it just freshens it up, the, yeah. uh, the lemon juice mm. and the zest. So that mm. is good to go. And i tell you what, I reckon that's going to go really well with the beef and the blue cheese and everything oh, it else. Will. It will. It will. Beautiful. <laughs> I could just spoon this into my mouth for the rest of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need that. <laughs> okay, I'll say, but what are you up to now? I've got the blender out. Right, so we've got the blender out. So we're going to make our burger patties. So you can get the mint, you can pop it in there. You can give it a little bit of a, a season. The, no, the mint, the mint. Oh, the mint. <laughs> well, you said the mint. I was like, that doesn't look like mint. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so that goes in there. And you want it seasoned as yep, well? Yeah, so give it, a, give it a good season. Okay. And then uh, what we've got in here is we've got these um, we've got beautiful butter mushrooms, some parsley, um, some smoked paprika, mm -hmm. and mustard powder. And there's a little bit of garlic that's gone in there as well. And you just pulse it in the um, blender. Yeah. And then, you know, you've got this nice mixture here. And we're going to mix this through our beef. Yeah. Yum. And nice. this, is, this is a good way of doing it to, to make keep your uh, patties nice and moist. You know, because you've got all that liquid in the mushrooms, gives it more flavour as well, depth of flavour. But as it cooks, it's going to keep it nice and moist, you know, without adding any more fat. Brilliant. So you've seasoned that? Yep. Brilliant. All right, I once did. it's all mixed through and you're happy, we are going to shape them. Shape them? Yep. So we get a oh, shape. Yeah, you got to so get you like shape right. it. Yeah. Yeah, so you can freestyle it and shape it, or is a, a top chef tip for you. You get like a little mold, so this is like a little mini cake tin. Yeah. All right. Just make sure you use the flat side down. Pop that on there. Get some of your mix. Oh, this makes it easy. Pop it in. And then, you know, we want nice thick burger patties. Yeah. And then really sort of squash it and compact it all over. Get it nice and round, nice and even. Look at that. Brilliant. So you do one by hand. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I do and one see by me, hand. See me okay. get it as good as that. So there you go. Really nice. Another top tip for you. Do these. Pop them on a, a tray with some greasery paper. Put them in the fridge for about an hour. They'll just firm up before mm -hmm. you cook them. Okay. The um, yeah, onions are still cranking away there. Yeah. Onions are still good. So we'll just keep cooking them until they, uh, they get a nice uh, caramel colour. Are you trying? No, I think tried. mine's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Good work. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Things are cranking along here on the Beko Kitchen. Everything is smelling good. We're going to finish off these burgers before the end of the show. And if you like the recipe, especially for this jam, then head to our website. And these organic California medjool dates are available at Huckleberry stores in the chilled produce section, as well as online. If you've never tried them, do. They are delicious. Okay, Mark, how's your blue cheese burger with the organic California medjool date jams? Oh, they're, they're looking good. Look at this. Got to spread the jam on the burger bun, build oh, it up. Got some really rocket, nice. some tomatoes, oh. caramelised onions on there, and there you go. That looks Ooh, amazing. Product. Oh, that is quality, that. Look, Look at that. it. Yum. Yum. Okay, what is on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I'm joined by Lorraine Jacobs, and we're making two salads for the new one.